t is equal to tan 2z plus 1 times 2 cos z minus 1 all over y squared minus x squared, where x is 9, y is 41, and z is 30 degrees. So we've got to put this into our calculator. So we've got to be a little bit careful how we put this into our calculator. So if we go to our calculator, so we've got t is tan 2 times 30, I'm just going to put 2 times 30 is 60, plus 1 times 2 cos 30 minus 1, over 41 squared minus 9 squared. So we've got to be careful with the old brackets here. So if we go to um, settings first of all and document settings and check that our calculator is in degree mode, normally no, no, normally in math studies it already is. So you can just check by checking that up here. Right, let's put in some brackets. Let's just do the first thing first. Um, Brackets, trig, tan, 60, that's 2 times 30, and then the plus 1 needs to go here. Scroll across another set of brackets of uh, 2, trig, cos, 30, go along minus 1, and then we need another set of so we need a bracket there and a bracket there and then we need to correspond it all divided by another set of brackets of 41 squared and you should have your calculator out while you're doing this and try to do it for yourselves squared and then put that there okay pause the video here and just check that you've got that in correctly press enter and you'll get an answer of 0 0.012 so it's a little bit tricky because quite a lot of brackets need to be put in before you can actually get the, the correct answer. There's a screenshot, so write down the exact answer, 0 0.00125. Then it says, give your answer T correct to two significant figures and three decimal places. So, 0 0.00125. When considering significant figure, these first three are not significant. So the first significant figure is 1. The second is a 2, and the third is a 5. The 5 is, will make that 2 a 3, and therefore the final answer is 0 0.0013. Do not put any number after the 3, because you'll be adding another significant figure. So it is 0 0.00132, two significant figures. Three decimal places. Okay, so in decimal places that does count, that counts the second one, and that's the third, and the two is the fourth. So put our line here, and that two will make that one uh, stay a one, so the answer will be 0 0.0012, three decimal places. Uh, Prioter estimates the value of t to be 0 0.002. Calculate the percentage error in Prioter's estimate. So, Pareto's estimate is 0 0.002, the actual value was 0 0.00125. So, percentage error is the error divided by the exact value, or the actual value, times 100%. So, that will be zero, the error will be 0 0.002 minus 0 0.00125. You can write this around the other way, but we were only interested in the positive value divided by the actual value, which is 0 0.00125 times 100. 0 0.002 min uh, minus 0 0.00125 is 0 0.0075 over 0 0.00125 times 100%, and that will give me 0 0.6 times 100%, which gives a percentage error of 60%. Okay, so this has been a video showing how to put some numbers in, into a calculator, do a complicated calculation, rounding off to two significant figures and three decimal places, and then finally calculating a percentage error. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you very much for watching.